Right, so a bit late in the process, started to film this. So what am I doing? Well, I'm creating some shuttering for a circular concrete base. And that base is for a little home observatory. What we got here, we got some uh, shuttering ply from the builders merchants, some uh, three mil or three and a half mil ply, and uh, basically some four by two. And out of that lot, I'm creating this curve. So I've just got a scrap bit of ply there, just weighted down to the workshop floor. And then I've got a line there with my radius marked out to there, 1.5 meters. And then I've created a 90 degrees of perpendicular. And then I've got 1.5 meters there. So I'm playing catch up a little bit with the video as I've done some of these processes already, but uh, just to show you. I'd laid the sheet apply, it was a whole sheet at the time on here, so it uh, went from one point there to that point there as a straight line. But then, as you can see here, I've made an offset in my dimensions because I've got the thickness of the three sheets of, I think this four mil ply actually, so that's 12 mil, 12 millimeters back. So this long line here also gives me that line to cut and the same up that end up that end as well. So um, I had my little trammel stick here, screw at one end, which screwed into there, like that. And initially I used a screw here, just as a, a, a marker gauge, just to scribe a line in there. But eventually what I did is I attached my router to this stick and just made, I think it was two or three passes with a six mil bit. So this is my setup here, sort of fast and dirty. Uh, I've got my router with my straight cutter in there. And then I've got um, a bit of rod that goes in the normal fence holding piece here, just clamped to my little trammel stick. Of course that thing slides around there perfectly. <laughs> and uh, that did extremely well. Having routed with the quarter inch bit around here meant that I had a nice channel in here at the time that it was still connected. I still had to cut this piece off. So it was just a case of coming around with the jigsaw in that groove just to cut round. And then this piece, this waste piece could be then removed. As you can see, that the roller bearing would have been on the piece previously cut with the other router. And that would have trimmed that off nice and flush all round. I then had this piece as my pattern, which is exactly what I did. I then used that as my router jig with this one, placed that on the other board, cut the worst off with the jigsaw, and then carried on round with the, the router. So once I had the four pieces of uh, base ply cut out, it's just a case then of checking to see if they fitted and gave me the dimensions I required. And uh, lo and behold, pretty much straight off the saw, as so to speak, uh, fitted perfectly. Um, there's my tape, and uh, there's the two at this end butted together. I've just got a little over, well it's 3 metres and 23 mil, something like that. Well, I need 24 mil, don't I? I think, yeah. So I'm not going to worry about that. So as you can see, I've glued and screwed the blocks on. And then I've glued and screwed the ply around. And then just cut it to length. The thing with shuttering, as far as I understand it anyway, is trying to contain the pressure of the concrete. Now we've got uh, 6 inches, 150 mil, um, so there's not a huge height or depth to the concrete um, and I'm pretty confident that all this is going to hold up. But nevertheless, I still want to think about the orientation of these blocks. So that is going to 
glue and screw on there like that. And of course these screws can hold that in place and the pressure is going to be this way. So my ply um, side is going to be on here. So this ply is holding that. And this block here um, is going to hold it upright, which is fine. So that force is going that way. So I am going to go with the block orientation of the grain like that. One thing I don't want is to have it down that way so that these screws are then going into end grain because I think that is a, a weaker uh, scenario. So just going to make sure that all my block grains are orientated that way so those screws have got a maximum hold. That's all the pieces together now. So the four pieces individually trimmed and put together. That's just the final double check and looking pretty good. We've got this piece here just to make it easy when we on site. So it's got a cleat on that end and the cleat on that end. And then this one here will come off of there. So that's got one cleat. And then this other one here has got another cleat. So it can only go together one way. So I put this one down first. That can only go on there. That can only go on there. And that one goes on there. Everything pre-drilled. So it's just a case of battery drill and a few screws on site and a big level. And job done.